Hey guys, it's Pia here! So today I thought I'd just do a simple weekly vlog because I actually haven't had time to make anything new so I don't have anything new to show you guys. Um, the reason is because I have actually been putting all of my efforts into packing up our house. Uh, my dad, who is in charge of the renovation of our new house that we bought in October and that has been, you know, renovated since then, um, actually told us that we might be able to move after next week and that is so soon and we haven't packed anything so most of my efforts now we'll go into just packing and making sure that this house is ready to be moved into the new house as soon as possible <laughs> so yeah if I don't put up a lot of photos uh, on Instagram or if I don't put up videos every single day it's simply because I am moving and it takes up a lot of time um, my husband works every day like very very long day so he can't really you know do as much packing as I can so it's kind of my job but it's okay and I'm happy to do it and I'm so excited to move because our new house is amazing and I will definitely do uh, some sort of room tour when I get my new workshop set up in the new house. So yeah, I'm like crazy excited about that and I hope that you guys are patient with me if I don't put up a video every single day or if you see more Let's Play videos than other videos now because those are the ones that are really easy for me to just kind of, you know, do a bit more often than, you know, make an entire custom and take the time to do, you know, everything <laughs> that it takes for these normal videos. So, hope you don't mind and just stay patient and I really hope that I'll have stuff up and running very, very soon after moving. But yeah, so other things that I want to talk about in this video are which customs are currently up for grabs in my eBay shop, which ones will be up next week, because I actually have a few that I will be putting up on eBay next week. Um, that's my cat Mimi in the background, <laughs> you can say hi to her. Um, so yeah, um, other things also, I'm gonna just talk about Face Off really, really quickly. This week's episode was uh, very interesting, so I will just talk about that a little bit <laughs> and explain my decision that I made with that one. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna get into the first theme, which is the customs that are currently up for grabs on eBay, and I'm just gonna show you guys which customs are now on my eBay shop, and I'm gonna show them real quickly and not talk about them too much, but here we go. First up, my Garnet, also known as January Custom, is currently up for grabs on eBay. So if you were born in January, then this is the perfect custom for you, especially if you like little fiery birds. Second up, we have my Pearl or June Custom, and it is just a lovely little snail that didn't get sold the last time around when I had it listed. So it's still up and available in my eBay shop. Then we have My Little Wolf custom, which is inspired by a monster from the game Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World, which probably not many of you have played, but it's a very good game and either way this monster is very cute. By the way, if you want to adopt one of these, the link is in the description if you want to get to my eBay shop, so you can check it out. And then finally we have my Choo Choo Cat uh, Alice in Wonderland inspired little custom which doesn't have a poseable head because it wouldn't stand up any other way than in this pose, so hope you don't mind that. And she does have a few flaws, but I think that she is very lovely and detailed, so I hope that she finds an awesome home. Okay, I'm also going to show you a few customs that will very, very likely be up for grabs very soon, and they will actually be as buy it now customs as well as auctions, so you can check those out. One of them will be listed today on Saturday at 3.30 p.m. PDT time, and the other one will be listed tomorrow at the same time, so you can check out my eBay shop if you're interested in one of these at those times. So those will be up very soon, you can check them out when they are listed. And here are the two customs that I was referring to. So the one that's going up on Saturday is this one, it is the little sapphire inspired or September inspired custom and it is just a lovely little mouse and this one is the topaz or November birthstone custom and this one is going up on Sunday at 3 30 p.m. PDT time unless it gets sold before that uh, both of these had buyers previously that didn't pay for them so that is why I'm relisting them um, unless the people decide to pay for them now which I highly doubt they will <laughs> And next up, I'm going to show you the customs that will be up for grabs next week, or actually starting on Sunday, 3.30 PDT time. These are all face-off inspired customs, but that shouldn't really matter um, whether you watch face-off or not, because they are just really cool original characters, and I hope that you like them. So here we go. First up is my little bounty hunter cat alien thing, and this one, as I said, will be up on Sunday, 3.30 PDT. So yeah, this is the first one. Second up is this lovely little angel dog which is also inspired by Face Off, um, one of the first episodes of this season. So the reason why I'm selling them now is because we're moving and I thought that it would be good to just get rid of as many customs as possible before we actually move. 
So yeah, I was gonna save these until uh, Face Off finishes airing, but I just decided to put them up very soon instead. So yeah, uh, this was the second one. Third up we have this little cat that is disguised as a fawn. It's just very simple and cute and yeah, not much to say about it. I just find it very adorable and I hope that it finds a good home. Yeah, so last up we have this little porcelain doll bunny that has been possessed by some sort of evil thing that is bursting out of it. And just a little disclaimer, this was not inspired by Slenderman in any way and it wasn't inspired by Tokyo Ghoul. I've never even watched that anime, so I don't know why you guys are talking about it so much, but it wasn't inspired by either one. It's just an original character of mine and it's supposed to look like it's made of porcelain and it's cracking, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's the backstory. You can check out my face-off challenge video for this one if you're interested in hearing more about the story behind it. So these were the four customs that will be up on my eBay shop uh, from Sunday, 3.30 p.m. PDT time. And finally, I wanted to talk about a few more things. Uh, one of the things was that um, face-off aired this week and the challenge was very kind of... I don't know, to me it felt like product placement. I'm not trying to be overly critical or harsh about uh, this challenge or, or stuff, but um, it kind of felt like product placement for me because it was literally that the makeup artist had to make characters from the World of Warcraft games and they had to actually replicate those designs and make them slightly more realistic, but pretty much just make that character into a special effects makeup. And I felt that that completely lacked any sort of imagination um, because they were talking about that, you know, the makeups had to be really um, true to the style of World of Warcraft and stuff like that. And I, I didn't feel like it was terribly inspired in any way. It was more like product placement to me. So I'm not making a custom based on this week's face-off challenge because I've never played World of Warcraft. It's not a game that I'm very familiar with. The designs didn't appeal to me. And I would feel silly that one of my face-off customs wouldn't even be an original character of mine. It would just be uh, a custom base and a character from World of Warcraft. Um, that's not the purpose of this face-off challenge thing for me, so that's why I'm not doing a custom based on this week's face-off episode. Hope you don't mind, but for me at least these face-off customs are supposed to be original characters that were inspired by something, not a replica of an actual existing character. So yeah, that hopefully explains that. Um, finally, I just wanted to say I know that you guys have been asking me about my series a lot, I've been trying to keep you updated, but I actually finally have some good news to you guys who have been patient. I have actually almost scripted the entire thing. Uh, the only thing missing is the final two episodes of season one and I'm very excited to get those scripted and it probably won't take very very long, so I'm really excited about that. After that I'll start recording the voices for my characters, which will be very interesting to see, and then after that I'll probably start filming and building sets and stuff like that. So. Things are progressing. I know that they've been progressing really slowly, but I'm very happy that I'm finally getting stuff done. So thank you so much for being patient and sticking with me and yeah, just being great. <laughs> you guys are the best. But yeah, uh, that's all I had to say for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope my customs that are going up on eBay are going to find great homes. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have an awesome Easter. Thank you so much for watching and see you again tomorrow. Bye.